shut off my heater right now. Let's try to get rid of the background noise. Ugh. All right. That's better. Day number three, working on the trunk floor on the 27 Roadster. I'm Mike Latender. You're watching this old hot rod on YouTube. Appreciate you guys checking it out, seeing what I got going on. This is what I got going on. So I have this portion tack welded or spot welded to this panel. You can see that's all moving one piece. What I need to do is I need to go get my nibbler and I need to trim this back like another inch maybe. This one not as much, probably about a half an inch. I uh, just kind of hacked my way through it to get that done so I could just throw that on there and it would clear the um, clear the tops of the shock for the shock mounts. I probably could have lowered them down. Um, the reason why I left them where they are is because they're they have about three inches of travel. Maybe yeah, yeah, about three inches of travel on both sides. I don't really want to minimize my travel anymore. I already have them welded down here on the bottom of the the radius rods, so I just assume build a couple little little blisters or whatnot that will allow me clearance to remove the shocks if need be when the time comes. After I get done working on these blisters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify. The battery tray. So initially what I was going to do is I was going to just cut these off, this here and this here. However, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify it. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is just section it and bring the bottom up some. So I'm going to have to probably slice this here and I don't know, do a little bit of work or maybe just, I don't know, slice it here and then bring it up. I'm not sure yet. And then do the same on this side here. I'm going to try to do something here where I can retain this as part of the mount. So what I want to do is actually want to elevate the battery just, I don't know, probably three inches off the floor of the car. And then what I'll do is I want to try to retain this because I want to have a shut off. And I want to try to retain this mount or bracket to mount a shut off. Make like a little aluminum panel or something and have a little shut off. Uh, so that battery is going to go here. I already have some structure underneath the floor to mount that. Once I get those done, minus welding the sheet metal into the car itself, the trunk area is done. Uh, yeah, I think it's basically done. I don't think I need to add any structure. I don't know from the factory. I don't feel any. So there, might have, there was something here. I see two holes here and two holes on the other side. I don't know if there was a panel. I'm not super familiar with the T, so I know the A's have a brace. I know 33 Ford, 34 Ford Coupes had braces, or 33, 34 Fords in general. So I'm hoping the more I drive the car, I'm hoping this whole thing isn't going to loosen up a lot. So that being said, I am planning on adding, I think I said earlier in the other video, some structure here, and I may end up needing to add some structure in the back, but I don't know at this point. So I'm hoping not, but if I have to, then I will. So let's get to work. I'm gonna whip up a couple templates for these blisters. Quick, hopefully quick and simple. We shall see. So let's get some, uh, getting some RAM board, get my template made. I think I threw away all my scraps. I did. Uh, I'm gonna cut out some RAM board and uh, get this thing built. See ya. All right. Got my template and two small little pieces of sheet metal cut. I just cut one up top. I had to run into the house, so I just went up top and cut those in my jump shear. I don't have a ton of time tonight. It's already kind of late. I ended up having to cook dinner because Allie and Dylan were gone for the evening. So I want to make sure Allie got fed and didn't have, to, didn't have to cook dinner when she got home. So I had to do that. So like I said, short on time. So I can get these pieces in real quick to cover up the shocks. Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's figure out how we're gonna do this because I don't quite know yet how I'm gonna do it. Um, I have my English wheel down here. I'll most likely end up using that. I have my shrinker stretcher. 
So I know I'm gonna need a couple flanges, but I can't do those flanges till after. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start, I don't know. I'm gonna get the English wheel going. And figure out what die I need. And uh, get, get some shape into these. Wanna just create a little bit of an arc? Do I? I don't know yet. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the first one, and I'll figure out how I'm gonna do it, and then I'll film the process on the second one, because otherwise it's probably gonna be a really long video. two but that's one metal here so that sits flush all right. all right so you can see what I got I got plenty of room as far as the shock goes but as I mentioned earlier what I'll do is I'm gonna trim this back 
probably another half inch or so just to give myself room to be able to remove the nut and the shock off of the post but I'm happy with that got about uh, about a finger thickness of clearance three eighths half inch perfect so that's what I'm gonna do over here now I got the heat on because it's cold again so I'm just trying to wrap up this second blister so what I just did was took my ball peed hammer you see all the marks that I left on it just trying to stretch this area out and then I'm smoothing it back out with the English wheel trying to recreate that dome like I did on the first one so I'm just being real careful because I don't want to catch my fingers on this because this thing will just suck your finger right in there so you should always wear gloves when you're using an English wheel so I'm just slowly going around the outside focusing on the center of the wheel where the crown of the die the lower die is working it back and forth trying to get it to a point where it's where it feels smooth where I don't feel the bumps anymore from the ball peen hammer mark keep having to loosen it and then tighten it back up trying to go both both directions Front to back, side to side. Again, just taking my time. Really trying to focus on this area here and towards the front, in the, in the middle, in the center of it. I want to try to get some height out of it. And I need to stretch that area in order to get the height that I need. So it's getting there see where it's really starting to crown there now without the rubber on it I'm I'm shaping sideways and then front to back if I were to take this piece of rubber and put it on here I'd only be shaping sideways but for now I'm trying to work both directions I said just to get some height out of it being such a small piece it just takes time I think what I'm gonna do is lower this die and put my rubber band on it so this rubber band is actually an old tube that I had this is an old metal ace a metal ace two inch wheel they don't make a rubber band kit for them and I had saw someone online I think and said that they used an old inner tube as their rubber band for their wheel so I just marked out two inches on an old tube that I had Cut it out and it works it works perfectly. It's about time for me to replace it, but it still works for the time being. run this back through my bead roller what I'm doing is trying to tip this edge
pretty good. Right, let's get this trimmed up. Check it out. Uh, one. Which one? Which one was this one? This one was this good. One and two. Does it cover everything? Yep, it does. What do you think, guys and girls? Just something to cover the shocks with. I could have done it a lot easier or more simple by just doing like a box. But again, I, I like learning how to do this stuff. And as you can see, it's not perfect. You can see the lines from where I, I ran the uh, tip and dies or the bead roller around that. If I want to, I could probably make another one. This one probably took me 30 minutes. This one probably only took me 15. But I'm happy with those. Uh, it's definitely pretty late. It's getting cold. Even with the heat running this whole time, it's still cold in here. That's going to be what does me in in this garage is just the temperature. So that's going to wrap it up for me on the trunk panel, so the trunk floor. I'm going to get my tools cleaned up and put away. Um, next, I'll do the battery mount on, next to the gas tank on the driver's side. I'll get that battery, uh, battery tray modified and get that installed. Then after that, I'm going to finally work on the doors. I'm going to get those latches installed which shouldn't be too big of a project. It's really just the driver's door, the passenger door, it's gonna bolt right in. I'll uh, get that taken care of. Got some, a uh, little bit of repair work to do on the B pillar area. This is cracked. I need to, I need to pull this out some. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some structure here and then the same on the top of the driver's side. I also need to figure out where my top is going to mount because I'll probably work off of whatever structure I add into this, this bun area. And then, uh, like I said, get these doors closing, which will be nice. And then I don't know what's next. It's a never ending list. So get off YouTube, get out in the garage. Work on your car, work on your truck, work on your bike. Or if you're in a nice area where it's, where it's, uh, or, or say nice area. If you're in a place where it's warm, take them out for a ride, man. Go enjoy your stuff. Uh, if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. Like the video. Shoot me a comment. Tell me what you think about the sheet metal work and the trunk area. And tell me what you want to see next on the T. I'm planning on working on the doors and adding that structure. Uh, once I get that done, like I said, I'm not really sure. Finish off the seats, maybe. I think for now, I'm just going to maybe use some self-tappers and self-tap that webbing right into the seat frame. Kind of see what that looks like. If I don't like it, I'll just, I'll just add my plywood. But I think I might be able to get away with just adding that webbing, a little bit of foam, and then the, um, the fabric. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Things are uh, just evolving as I go. 
All right, everyone. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.